He almost ready. <laughs> no, I've been ready for a while. I'm just waiting on you. You've been changing a couple times. Why? Honey, you're gonna make a good first impression. It's alright. Look, I was nervous when I met your parents and, you know, now it's time for you to meet mine. <laughs> I think it's about time, don't you, baby? <laughs> yeah. Look, I wanted to tell you something. <sighs> My parents can be assholes sometimes. Now, I know it's not nice to say, but I'm just putting it out there. They are. And no matter what they would ever say, because I know them, believe me. I've got your back, and it's me and you, baby, because, you know, it's just how it is. Do I think they'll be critical? Yeah. They always have been. It's, no, it's not nice. It is not nice, but I'm not making excuses for them because I can't control what they do. I can only control what I do. And I, I'm just letting you know that <clears throat> regardless, I got your back and it's me and you. <laughs> nothing, nothing that they would ever say would ever deter me, so. I know. I just made you a mess. I know, I'm sorry. I just... I didn't want you to feel like, you know, I just want to let you know, because I know how they are. Why do you think I don't hang out with them that much? I told you, because they're assholes. <clears throat> They've been like that my whole life, especially with me and being super critical with me, so I know how they're going to be with you, but just take it in stride and, you know... If anything, we'll just, we'll leave. That's just how it is. So, come on, we need to go. Aw, oh, you look so cute. Oh, God, you smell nice. <clears throat> no, I don't want to go. Let's go to the bed. <laughs> you smell hot, baby. <sighs> All right, later, later, later. Hmm. No, no, it's the second house on the right. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yep. And I'll tell you how nice it is, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm the exact opposite of what they are. I don't need to throw out what I make and tell people stuff like that. They do. Because they're assholes. <laughs> I was always determined never to turn out like them, and I didn't think I had. <laughs> Alright. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, they're waiting on the porch. Oh, Lord Jesus. Grab my hand, baby. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> How you guys doing? Oh, oh, hugs, okay. Oh, we're doing okay. <laughs> Mom and Dad, this is my boyfriend. <laughs> oh. It just wasn't... Oh, come on, Mom. It just wasn't the right time then to introduce everybody. It just... It was a bad time, and that's why we're coming now. I know we've been together four months, but you just never know. I mean, aren't you supposed to save your parents till you know, you know for sure? I met his, like, two months ago. Oh. I'm sorry. 
I'm always sorry. Dad, why would you ask him something like that? Don't ask him how much he makes. Oh my goodness, what is that? <gasps> what? I don't need anybody to support me. What do you mean in case my job falls through? I've been at the job for six years. Oh, yeah, one never knows. Oh my god, you guys! What are you doing? This is why I don't like ever bringing anybody over here. No, you're not being concerned parents. Look, as old as I am, come on. Oh my god, mom. Oh my god, I just... <laughs> How could you say that to him? He works hard. Yeah, it's not... I, yeah, it's not... Jesus. You know, yeah, he, he writes and stuff, but he sells what he writes. And then... Oh my god, I don't have to explain this to you, but I guess I have to. He still, he still works at the coffee shop to make up for whatever shortfall he has. He's never let me stick. Oh, because we've been living together for the past two months. Yeah, well, how am I supposed to tell you when you guys act like this? Yes, I understand you would like to meet him before we moved in together. Oh. You expected more out of me. Really, Mom? Really? You know, he is a great guy. I couldn't ask for a better boyfriend. And you know what? As of this past weekend, fiancé. So, you better get used to him because he's not going anywhere. And I don't care if you approve of him or not. I do. And that's what fucking matters. No, I don't have to watch my mouth. My God, look how old I am. Are you kidding me? You and Dad had better knock it off. Seriously. Because <sighs> you know what? Whatever grandchildren we do, ha whatever grandchildren you do have, maybe you won't see them because as horrible as you two are. Always throwing your money around and stuff like that. It's, it's you know, it's really embarrassing. I always made it a point never to be like you two. And I think I did pretty damn well. Because you know what? I must have done something right because I got one hell of a fiancé. Who I love. And I am never, ever going to leave him. And he's not going to leave me. Especially over people that condescend us. And, you know, look down on us. We're doing just fine. And I've never asked you to for anything. I don't even need your approval. I thought it would be nice to come over and... So he could introduce himself, you know. Yeah, it goes as wonderful as it always does. You guys always have to ruin everything by, you know, just throwing your social elitist attitude around. And it's not cool. <sighs> no, I am not coming in for dinner and neither is he. We're going to go right now. Because this worked out wonderfully. And I'm sorry. You know, I love you too. I really do. But you think as older as old as you guys get that you would mellow out? You're getting worse. My God, Mom and Dad. <sighs> okay, I'm not getting upset over this anymore. I'm going home with my fiancé, who I dearly love and we're gonna have a good time tonight you know why because we're adults and we can and we are so in love with each other so yeah we'll probably stop by the coffee shop where he works we'll get some coffees we'll take them home and we'll just enjoy life so maybe you guys can give me a call 
when you're not so elitist, you know. I'll probably never hear from you, but just let me know. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. Oh, God, baby, I love you. I'm so sorry. I know I wasn't kidding, see? I told you, and it was even worse than I thought. I didn't choose anybody. I choose, you know, not like that. I am not going to ruin my relationship over my parents' behavior. I love you, and that's all there is to it. With or without them. Yeah, of course I mean it. Jeez. And you are a hard worker. You're like the best. And you have to be the best because you love me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's go get some coffee and then go back to the house. <laughs> I love you, baby. 